Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This one, it, it's got the emotions flowing. Usually when I come on and do these videos, I'm even killed, you know, I'm chill, I'm just talking, but I don't know how to react to this move. And I just saw this, I dropped everything I was doing to get my pure raw reaction to the Trey Lance trade to the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I don't want to give you any false information, but from what I'm hearing from Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter, some of the guys, we're hearing that the trade is Trey Lance to the Dallas Cowboys, the 49ers get in return a fourth round pick. So... First off, first off, first off, let me look at this from the 49ers perspective. Okay, I understand. You know, a lot of people talk about Sam Darnold. He was just recently named the second string quarterback. I talked about Sam Darnold because I watched a lot of film on DJ Moore. So understand I had to watch Sam Darnold. And I'm going to tell you, those last couple of games, that second back half stretch for the Carolina Panthers, he was quietly one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL in that stretch. Gave the Carolina Panthers an opportunity to possibly make the playoffs if they didn't lose that terrifying game to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady. But... Now you think about it is they're going with Brock Purdy. That, that's my biggest thing and my biggest takeaway. Mr. Irrelevant, all of the things we've heard, and he's only played, he's played less than 10 games. So I got to trust John Lentz. I got to trust Kyle Shanahan. I do because they, they've been winning. They've been winning and winning and winning. And we see that this is what I talk about with a lot of people. They say that, OK, I don't know if we should typically do some of these things, build around a quarterback rather than getting the guy who can elevate all of his talent. The 49ers say to heck with that. We're building teams our own way. Brock Purdy is not Patrick Mahomes. He's not going to be Caleb Williams. He's not Joe Burrow, but he's a good quarterback. And he could be the point guard for your team if you want to win games and if you have the elite weapons around him, which the San Francisco 49ers do. I don't want to take anything away from those guys, but you have to think, though, everything they traded to move up into the top five, into the top three, and get Trey Lance in that draft. I mean, I look at all the quarterbacks. I thought they were going to get Mac Jones prior to the draft, and they came out there and got Trey Lance. I mean... In a draft class with Zach Wilson, all of the guys in that draft class, they went and got their guy. And you think that, okay, in quarterback purgatory, I mean, post, really, I would say post Colin Kaepernick, they had Jimmy G got to the Super Bowl with him. That was a good run and a good stretch. But you felt that, for one, Jimmy is a good quarterback. I do want to give him his props, but he can't stay healthy. So I thought that going to get Trey Lance, that's telling me everything I needed to know. We want to be solidified, get a guy on a rookie scale contract, and we still got monsters around him. Got the best linebacker in football and Fred Warner. Got those dogs. Just got Nick Bosa. So all of the dogs still got Hufunga. He just broke out last season. So I think about what the 49ers are doing, and I have to trust the process. But, man, it's leaving a sick taste in my mouth. And this is a raw reaction. Everything that I truly think right now is it, it, sick because – you trade, basically, there's no saying. Now, I've watched a lot of Trey Lance film in preseason week one and week two. And, of course, a lot of people are going to say it's just preseason. And I think that there's some there's some bad in there. I do want to say that. But there's a lot of good. And it's a lot of things that if he gets more reps, we understand had the major breakout season at North Dakota State and then had the COVID year, only played really one game that year and then went into the draft. So, I'm thinking about Trey Lance and I'm thinking about what he still could be. He's so young. And I mean, he hasn't played a lot of football for the 49ers. He, he, he hurt his ankle. So I think about what happened with him and how that happened. So now I thought that this year, okay, maybe it could be a shot. But they're, they're riding with Brock. Josh, Kyle Shanahan said basically Brock Purdy has to go out there and throw away his job to basically lose it. So that's how they feel about Brock Purdy. They're rocking with Brock, but seeing Sam Donald name is that QB too. I think that for Trey Lance, you also got to say to the fact that get me out of here. If you put all of this stock into me, you traded all this up to get me. And I'm pretty sure they told him, you're going to be this franchise guy, but you're not giving me that opportunity. John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, you guys aren't giving me that chance to be the guy for the team. And when I've gotten the chance, I've gotten injured. That's not my fault. But I, I have to think, though, that they haven't been is happy with his development to this point because I like like I said on the film, there's some good, but also some bad. And you think that is he ready right now? 
And like I said, this is a team in win now mode. They, they traded for Christian McCaffrey last year. They had a good shot at beating the Philadelphia Eagles, however you feel about that game. But Brock Purdy got hurt in that game. Then we had Josh Johnson. Then we had a lot of things we didn't want to see at the quarterback position. But now I want to transition into Jerry Jones because regardless of how you feel about Jerry Jones, regardless about what you want to say about Jerry Jones, he's been killing it this offseason. I dropped the I dropped a video on my series What to Expect earlier in the offseason, and I went through the defense. I talked about a lot of things with the team, and I think that now I'm looking at it, all the moves they made. Trading for Stephon Gilmore. You could say he's old. He's still a good football player. Drafting Mozzie Smith and a guy like Dan Quinn who's came from that cover three system with the Legion of Boom and now he's running a lot of Tampa too. So now when you have those two high safety sets, you add Mozzie Smith into the middle of that. You still got some of the other guys along the interior. You still got Micah, one of the top two to three edge rushers in football. Demarcus Lawrence... I don't know what you want to say about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know if you want to say that they're not America's team or that <clears throat> every year they say it's their year and then they go to the playoffs and, and Zeke is running under the center. He's getting direct snaps before he left the team. It's a lot of things we can say about the Cowboys, but we cannot ignore the fact They've killed it this offseason. I got to look at it and tell the truth. I mean, all the guys they drafted still got some <clears throat> still got some solid guys along and among the offensive line. I have to look at the Dallas Cowboys and say that I love the roster. And this, you know what this is telling me? This is telling me that they believe they have the guys. And I think they believe they had the guys for the past couple of years, but they haven't been able to get to the final dance. They've been able to get to the dance and mingle and tangle and get a little dances in, but they haven't been able to get to the big one. And that's the Super Bowl. And I think that now they're saying, okay, Dak, you're not young anymore. This is not the, the fairy tale ride where everybody didn't believe in you. You were the fourth round pick out of Mississippi State. This is not that same old, same old. We want to win football games. We understand what you are as a leader. We understand what you are as a player. But you've been turning over the football. You've been, you know, I think about the ankle. I don't want to blame the ankle on him. And he had the other injury last year. And I, you can't really blame it on him. But you haven't been available as much as, as much as we've wanted you to be available. So now we think about it and say, okay. You got two years. You're on the clock. This is Trey Lance is going into his third season. And then, okay, he's probably not going to play this season. We don't know about next year. We doesn't we don't know what next year holds. But hypothetically, if he does come in next year, if he does come in the year after, we still can have that fifth year option. He was a first round pick. So that's a luxury that you have. You don't have to pay him just yet because you truly don't know what he is. I think about Jordan Love over there in Green Bay, kind of how that situation is going to pan out. So we're putting you on the clock, Dak Prescott. You got to step to the table. You got to give us some answers. We got you, Brandon Cooks. We drafted you some guys. You got Michael Gallup healthy. You got CeeDee Lamb stepping into one of the best slot receivers in football. You got Tony Pollard. You got Deuce Vaughn, the 5'5 five five king, running around breaking tackles. So you, you got what you got, all right? And I think that we have a defense. They've made all the trades. I look at the Dallas Cowboys and I say that Jerry Jones, you can say that he's cheap. You can say that he doesn't pay guys when we think he should. You, you can say a lot of things about Jerry Jones, but you can't say he hasn't went all in. And, and I think that for a guy who, who's been knocking on the doorsteps for a couple of years, Mike McCarthy, he wants to get back to the big dance. They're, they're all in. They're all in. And making a move like this to get Trey Lance, I, I think is amazing. Like I said, this is the raw reaction, but I look at the move and everything they've done. I have to give the I have to give the all season an A plus. Truly, when I look at it, I look at the free agency. I look at the draft. I look at the trades they made. This is a team who wants to go get it. Dak Prescott, you on the clock, my guy. You really on the clock right now with everything that we have. Trey Lance is now getting bolstered into that backup position. It's a scary sight in Dallas. It's a time to be alive if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. You got some things to be optimistic about. And if Dak Prescott doesn't get it done, it's going to be Trey Lance time.